I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. 1957, you're trolling along and you're saying to yourself, I feel like seeing a monster movie today. Maybe I'll go see this new double bill of The Brain from Planet Arrows and Teenage Monster. So you figure, okay, Teenage Monster is playing first. I'm in the mood for a Teenage Monster. You go in, the picture starts. This can't be Teenage Monster. This isn't a monster movie. This is a Western. Who ever heard of a Western with a monster in it? Well, believe it or not, this one. Well, there you go. Sure enough, sure looks like a Western. Well, it is a Western, even though it's called Teenage Monster. What's happened? The whole town seems deserted. That monster's on the loose right here in town. Anybody catch sight of this thing? Well, a few kids playing in the street said he was 20 feet tall, covered with long hair, and had great big teeth. Uh, in fact, this is probably one of the more depressing uh, monster movies or teenage movies uh, of the decade of the 50s because it's about a little boy who is hit by a meteor and grows up to be this shambling, backward, bearded, horrible teethed retard. I know you're not supposed to say that word, but that's what we that's how we used to call him in nineteen fifties and that's pretty much what I think the people who made this movie thought of this guy as. Uh, he's um, all hairy and and bad and he grabs girls and he takes them behind trees and rocks and does things that we can't even imagine. Joe Martindale came in this morning, lost six of his blooded steers last night in a rider. The steers had their throats torn out and the rider, Bill Begley, was beat to death. This is Anne Gwynn, who was a movie star in the uh, 1940s for Universal and was obviously uh, fallen on hard times. It has this, the basic narrative drive of a Western. You, there's something bad going on. People have to find out what it is. But they're pretty stinting in this trailer, though, on showing you what the teenage monster really is, or in fact, <laughs> that there's the presence of any teenagers whatsoever, which there are hardly any of. I can't imagine that this was uh, very popular, but it's a movie, and it was made by Halco International, which is a consortium of exhibitors, and uh, obviously made for this double bill. The fact that you can have a, a trailer for a picture called Teenage Monster and not show any teenagers or monsters just shows is a testament to the power of cinema. Mm -hmm.